So the Bucks win the tip. And a look at the starters for the Pistons. We've got Jalen Brunson. Bagley is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Bridges. And it's Jackson in a fifth center position. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. Free throw missing. Second free throw, good. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Pass to Brunson. Bridges sets the screen for Brunson. Sinks the triple. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Rose. Pass to Giannis. Rebound, Detroit. They're looking to build on Monday's big win. Yeah, I think the perimeter game is what helped them in that one. Consistent from out beyond the arc. We talk a lot about shot selection, and we saw why. You want to avoid empty possessions. Buries it from three-point range. I mean, a tremendous all-around talent. Drew Holiday keeping his eyes up and his options open. On the wing, Jackson. Tipped and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's Detroit with the ball. Here's the pass to Kuzma. Four on the shot clock. Gets the three pointer to fall. No hesitation from Bridges. He gets the ball and is primed to take that shot. Rose sets the screen for out of the Kumbo, and he uses the glass on the way. How did the Kumbos get his second bucket of the night? Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack, and, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Yeah, three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Middleton looking it over. The rejection by Jackson. Bridges passes to Brunson. And here's Kuzma. Bridges finds Kuzma. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. And a chance for this to second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And another thing, Coach will be thrilled with the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. Man's a screen on Jackson. Down low. The kick out to Kumbo. No good. Shot missing. And Detroit the other way now. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. They're great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. And here's Rose following Kyle Kuzma's three. Kuzma against Giannis. Count that one. Under the Kumbo's got eight points. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Dwayne Casey gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. 
He said obviously they need to retake home court advantage. And that's what makes tonight's game absolutely critical. He told me the guys understand what we have to do. We're determined to recapture the edge we earned during the regular season. Kevin, it's easy to see why this is such an important game for them. Back to you. Thank you, David. The Bucks have converted one of two free throws so far today. Detroit making a switch. Cunningham's checked in. And that one misses. Pistons leading by eight. From the arc. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And to the Kumbo inside. He's against Bridges. It is good. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Cunningham against Howard. Cunningham outside. Outside for Bagley. Krill's the three-pointer. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. A different look for Milwaukee. Bembry's checked in for Chris Middleton. Alec Burks comes in for Drew Holiday. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Rose. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Okiki's checked in for Bagley. Now here's Cunningham. Banked in off the glass. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Pass to Hunts Kumbo. Here's Bembry. Hunts passing it around. Nance sets a screen for Burks. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And while he's best driving to the rim... Burke's jump shot has to be honored. Cunningham kicks to Brunson. And again, it's the Pistons from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Nance. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. This is his first free throw of the game. For the teams that were looking to draft Jaron Jackson Jr., what they saw was a true modern-day center who could defend one through five. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for the Pistons. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Bucks trail by ten. Nance dishes to Hatsu Takumbo. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. So strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Now, here's Cunningham. After Brunson. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter of the game. Burks finds DiVincenzo. Giannis outside. Passes it to DiVincenzo. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Here's Giannis. The second effort, and the layup is up and in. Giannis has got 16. And, and Giannis knows how to compete. He knows you got to fight for those second-chance opportunities. Now, here's Cunningham. 
He kicks it to Jackson. A win. Okiki passes to Brunson. Outside Jackson. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Number one, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Bucks trail by six. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter. The shot from the low post is good. He's got 18. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Cunningham for three. It's hauled in by Giannis. Milwaukee's gone two or two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Back to Giannis. And the double up on it to Kumbo. It's good. And now just a two-point Detroit lead. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Detroit Pistons. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. more action from game three and before we move on what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit I know it's early but all those three pointers boy do they add up and that's their strategy try to overwhelm you try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of Middleton the small forward with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the powerful Rose is out there with Holiday and it's Nora in at the five down low so that's who Milwaukee starts the second one. Here's Hansa Takumbo. Got a hand on it. Though he won't block a lot of shots. Kyle with terrific defense that time. Read that one all the way. Here's Cunningham. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. And the Pistons lead by six. Hansa Takumbo passes to Moore. Outside Rose. And there's the pass to Giannis. And the double up on to Kumbo. Bucks passing it around. It's good. Juarez got his first points of the game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Jackson down low. Under the Kumbo defending. Rose against Cunningham. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. Defense gets all up in Cunningham's personal space, but he stays strong and gets to the inside. Yep, it goes, and the Piston lead is cut back down to four with the main basket from Kumbo. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Jackson, and no good. Trying to use the glass. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Over to the left wing. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. Checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Here's Jackson. Angley kicks to Brunson. 
It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Rose against Brunson. Yep, it goes. And the Piston lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Rose. Lively with a screen on Rose. Brunson, good on the triple. Brunson's got 17 now. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Bucks trail by five. Kicks the Rose. Pass to Holiday. From past the arc. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got five assists tonight. This is the versatility we talk about with Drew. Able to beat you with the drives and from distance. against Cunningham. Bridges, no one around him. Three-pointers off the mark. Milwaukee's gone 3-3 three three from three-point land here tonight. And Middleton kicks to Adetokounmpo. Outside Rose. Passes it to Giannis. Nance sets a screen for Adetokounmpo. That evens the score. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. The Bucs shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And the Bucs making a change here. Burks is checked in. Smith checked in for Detroit. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo. One shot. On the free throw, no good. The Pistons have gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. I love the skill level of Kay Cunningham. He has every shot in the book. Pass to Holiday. Burks against Cunningham. Here's Hansen to go. Oh, yes. The length, speed, Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Bridges a screen on Hubble. Runs in the pass to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Go into the rack with energy in the D, afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged, and everything has to be earned. Oh, and out of the Kumbo, hammers it in. And they really all have confidence in Antetokounmpo to run that set. That they're willing to put every aspect of their offense in his hands. Here's Cunningham, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First one falls. So much of the offense revolves around Kay Cunningham. He can do it all. Embry's checked in for Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Drew Holland. Then for the Pistons, Okiki's checked in for Bagley. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for Bridges. And so Cunningham nails both of them. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. The pass to Embry. The Bucs working the ball around. Here's Giannis. 
and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. There's a screen. Here's Brunson. Detroit, no good that time either. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. To the paint, here's Nance. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Pistons have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Cunningham passes to Smith. It's thrown by to Jacumbo. Floats it up for Giannis. And Cunningham with the block. Oh, the length of Cunningham. A real advantage on both ends of the floor. Smith sets the pick for Brunson. Here's Okiji. And there's the call by the official. They'll cut the basket here following the goaltending call. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. The Pistons making a change here. Porter's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Bucks trail by three. 158 left to play here in the second quarter. Burks in the corner. Pass to Nora. Even Genzo with it. Shot clock at five. Here's Nora. And he's good on the three ball. Nora's got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. To Cunningham. Smith with a screen up even Genzo. For the three. A rebound by the Bucks. Here's Snell. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. An energizer bunny in the paint. Tony Snell not afraid to go up with the Giants. Cunningham passes to Okiki. There's the pick. Kuzma can't get it to go. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. A three for DiVincenzo. Can't hit that one. Detroit has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Cunningham right side. Nailed from three-point land. Cunningham's got 11 here in this quarter alone. For K, consistently knocking down threes, it'll open up the rest of the court. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Works with it. Now Smith defending. And the rejection by Smith. There's Okiki. Cunningham kicks to Porter. That's in coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got his third assist on the night. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Pistons lead by four. You look at Enetokounmpo in this game has been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. On the floor for Detroit, they've got Anthony. Bridges out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Jackson and at the pivot running the middle. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Milwaukee shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Free throw, no good. No, no. 
He doesn't get the second one. Detroit leading by four. Passes to Brunson. Now here's Kuzma. Jackson is screen on up to Kumbo. And Kuzma slams it in. I'm not surprised to see Kuzma throw it down. He's got the length and leaping ability to do so. Here's Hansa to Kumbo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. Way to attack there and then create the contact. The Bucs shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. He misses the free throw. And, and forget about the miss for a moment and focus on the fact that he's done a great job putting pressure on the defense. on the second free throw. Here's Bridges. Pass to Brunson. Taken away by Holiday. Inside, Middleton lays it up and in off a pretty assist. Yeah, Middleton is a talented scorer from anywhere on the floor. Goes to the paint and does his thing. Hands against Jackson. And he banks in the layup. Jackson's got five. Aggressive move coming out of the half. Penetrating into the heart of the defense. That was a good play call. Attacking with the right guy in the right situation. Here's Rose. And Anthony sends it back. Still got that defensive grit. Carmelo Anthony making a difference on both sides. Jackson is screened on Middleton. Brunson the pass to Bridges. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. And now an eight-point piston lead. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Taken away by Anthony. The pass to Brunson. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Jacked in for the Pistons. Two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Kuzma. That one drops for him. Kuzma's got four points this quarter. 
just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. From deep, Rose. It's good from long range. Hard to contest Derrick Rose. With his speed, he's able to stop on the dime and pull up. Brunson against Rose. Goes up the baseline. And Detroit again with the bucket. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Giannis passes to Middleton. Rose kicks to Giannis. Nance sends a screen for Giannis. That one's good, and the Piston lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Larry Nance. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Bridges finds Brunson. for the eighth time in ten tries. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. On to Takumbo against Kuzma. On to Takumbo with the bucket. He has gotten into a terrific groove here trying to wheel his team back into this. Pass to Brunson. No good on the three. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by seven. He feeds it to Giannis. Bridges with the steal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And he's a real wrecking ball inside. Once Bagley has solid position, you almost have to foul. And some stands here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pistons. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And also, they are working the opposition from the mid-range, continuing to fire away with confidence from there. The Pistons making a change here. Dort's checked in. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And the game Bagley has reminds me a, a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. Here's onto Takumbo. The shot's good. Miles has got five points now in the quarter. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint. And this should have been grinded out there. Brunson knocks down the three ball. And the Pistons lead by nine. Picking up from where he left off. I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. Rose passes to Giannis. And under to Kumbo, slams it in. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Brunson scanning the floor. The feed to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
lineup here for the Bucks, And a different look here for the Pistons. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for Jackson. Anthony comes in for Bagley. Porter's checked in for Mikel Bridges. And Cade Cunningham subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Passing it around. DiVincenzo passes to Nora. There's the dish to Burks. Over Anthony. Burks can't get it to go. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Passes it to Burks. Now, here's Gold. Off target with his three. Snell kicks to DiVincenzo. Pass to Burks. Here's Snell, covered by Smith. Here's Nora. Drills it from outside. Nora's got his third basket of the night. Passes like this demonstrate Snell's team-first approach. He's all about getting it to the open guys. Here's Cunningham, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? And the pass to Snell lets it go from deep. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And really, Snell needs no time at all to get his jump shot off. He's looking to score once he gets the pass. Smith dishes to Cunningham. Shoots it. Pass and it's Smith with the assist that time. Cunningham's got four points in the quarter. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Three-pointer, Snell. Rebound by Smith. Detroit leading by seven. Quarter passes to Cunningham. Anthony sets the pitch for Cunningham. A three-pointer off the mark. Milwaukee's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. And the rejection by Smith. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Anthony kicks to Dort. Sinks the three-pointer. And now a ten-point piston lead. Savvy play by Carmelo. He knows the defense expects him to fire, so he makes a pass to an open teammate. against Burks. Shot clock at six. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Burks has got his second bucket tonight. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Pistons ahead. Up by eight. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Bucks trail by eight. A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. Derrick Rose is out there with Holiday. And it's Nance in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And that one's good by Giannis. Under the Kumbos, got 41. He is just self-willing to see him right now. Doing everything he can to keep him alive. Here's Brunson. Here he goes. And there is no better way to end to the lead. Isn't that true, G.A., especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Middleton, the pass to Giannis. Good! Andre Dekumbo's got 43 points. How about 
the effort. You, you did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? On the way, Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Middleton outside. Fires the three. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his seventh assist in the game. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Rose. And Detroit with a change here, too. Smith checked in for Jaron Jackson. Bucks trail by five. Here's Antetokounmpo. Giannis goes it down. Hey, guys, that's a sight we've become far too accustomed to see. Antetokounmpo throwing it down like it was just another day at the office. Kuzma against Middleton. Smith lets the pitch for Kuzma. And again, it's the Pistons from deep. Helping this offense spread the floor. Kyle's a solid shooter from distance. Even Genzo against Brunson. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's Steven Genzo. And that one is off. The Pistons go the other way with it. They've held a 12-point lead early. Middleton against Brunson. Smith kicks to Kuzma. In the corner, it's Bridges. Another three for Detroit. And from long range, Bridges getting more and more comfortable taking and making his share of threes. Pass to Middleton. To the inside. Nance. And he elevates for the slam dunk, and Marvin Bagley did not like that. Nance is special. How easy is it for him to make this spectacular look routine? Kuzma against Middleton. Now here's Kuzma. He's guarded close. Shot clock at three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And onto the Kumbo, sends it in. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Jackson, he's checked in for the Pistons. Cunningham comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Guys, I was able to listen in on what Glenn Casey went over with his team. He's happy with how they've been playing. He told them, hey, they had their chance, but this is where we take it from. Them. This is our game and our series. He's got them pretty fired up, Kevin. Thanks, David. Powerful jam by Cunningham, letting everyone know he can get physical. A shot by Brooks. Nobody around. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Detroit Pistons. They lead by seven. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And falls for Brunson. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Marvin Bagley. Both good from the line that time. So it's the Bucks now. Nine point game. 
DiVincenzo passes to Moore. Got a piece of it. This is where Bridges' wingspan is a factor, allowing him to reach out and get a piece of that shot. It's deflected. Mora, the pass to Burks. Passes it to Snell. From downtown, connects from three-point range. That's a picture-perfect jumper. Tony Snell was drafted 20th overall because he can do that. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Marvin Bagley's checked in for the Pistons. Jackson finds Brunson. Bagley with a screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. Sinks the 15-footer. Brunson's got six in the quarter. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Timeout called. The Bucks. Trail by eight. And here is Adi Dekumbo. Down low. It's stolen by Bagley. Pass to Bridges. Brunson against Holiday. Here's Jackson. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got his sixth assist on the night. And they double up Giannis. DiVincenzo passes to Giannis. In the corner, Nance with it. Trains the three-pointer. And the passing skills of Giannis continue to improve. His floor awareness has grown through the year. To the middle. Here's Jackson. And there's another one for the Pistons. He's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Even Genzo against Brunson. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's an 11-point piston lead. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside, going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. Taking two shots. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that brings them to within 10. Derek Rose is checked in for the Bucks. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. Bridges kicks to Brunson. There's Jackson with the three. It's deflected. Now, under Kumbo. The three. 
And got it! Another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. This team looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. The pass to Jackson. And the rejection by Giannis! Just too big a deficit to come back from at this point. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. Bagley with the block! And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooters. Brunson against Howard. Brunson with it. And so it's Detroit with the W. And